in chapter 7, semiconductor. You should know what is the intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor. Doping in a semiconductor. I draw the Venn diagram to describe the, the, the energy level. And what is the continuity equation? And what is the direct and indirect band gap semiconductor? Okay, what is the intrinsic or extrinsic semiconductor? Intrinsic semiconductor share the same number of n and p. So electron and whole number are same, equal to the intrinsic number of pairs, which is given by n i. And an n type semiconductor it has has more, much more electrons as free carriers, while p type semiconductor has more holes. Therefore, the Fermi level for n type semiconductor is close to the conduction band, while for the p type semiconductor, the Fermi level is close to the valence band. And there are two main, two important law. One is mass action law. There uh, is given by the product of the whole, uh, whole density and the electron density should be a constant. It's given by n i square. And uh, another law is charge neutrality, neutri charge neutrality law, which uh, means that all the charges, positive charges add up, should be equal to the negative charges. So the the whole semiconductor is charge ne neutral. And how to calculate the carry density? First, you need to know that the where the Fermi level is, then what is the density of states okay, for a semiconductor? And then you know the distribution of the carrier, which is given by the Fermi direct function. And time, to, uh, time these two together, you will get the distribution of the carrier density. That is given by the two uh, equation. Uh, the two, uh, that's given by two equation. So based on this, we, we can calculate the electron, uh, electron carrier's density in uh, n type semiconductor. It's given by a density state for electron times the distribution. Similarly, whole density is given by whole of the density states for holes times the distribution. That is a free hole in a p-type semiconductor. Conductivity is contributed to two contributed by two carriers, majority and minority. Both have the uh, contribution. However, in some semiconductor, uh, we don't consider the, the contribution of minority carrier because majority carrier has much higher density than minority carriers. So this is another important curve to describe that how a, a doping how the carrier distribution in a semiconductor, how the mobility change with temperature, and how the resistivity as well also change with temperature. And the, uh, the mobility increase at low temperature due to the thermal uh, excitation, and it increase uh, at the high temperature due to the scattering. While when you see the carrier density, the carrier uh, density increase at low temperature due to ionization. And uh, it will become flat at a certain temperature range. That's because the, the doping level remains constant. While you keep increasing temperature, the, the carrier density increase is due to the thermal excitation of the electron from the valence band to the conduction band. Therefore, times the mobility at the carrier density, you wouldn't be able to calculate the uh, conductivity as a function of temperature, which is described by this. Uh, this blue curve. In some cases, like you shining light to the semiconductor, it will redistribute the minority carrier density, which means you have both electron and holes are photon excited, photon generating. There are more uh, minority uh, carriers at the edge of the at the edge of the light material in interaction, while it will decrease. With time, the equation to describe this uh, transition dynamic change is a continuity equation, which is described by this equation. That is the change of the minority carrier, which is a hole in the n type semiconductor with time, is given by the diffusion current as well as the recombination rate and the generation rate. So what is the difference between indirect and direct band gap semiconductor? The difference is in direct band gap semiconductor, 
they share the same k, wave factor k. Actually, uh, Williams band the maximum and the conduction band the minimum. While for the indirect band semiconductor, the k is different. Therefore, the, the transition to excite the electron from the Williams band to conduction band for the indirect battery gap is emitting a pho photon. For the indirect battery gap semiconductor is emitting a phonon. So there will be no light emitting diode made by silicon, which is indirect battery gap uh, semiconductor. 